Hey everyone and welcome to a new reading. Today's reading is just a general um, a reading about your relationship, your current connection um, with a specific person that you have in mind. Um, it's not necessarily a pick a card reading, but you still have to choose from three different groups. So I use these three macaron shaped candles in order to um, have for each group something that you can choose from so for group number one we have this beautiful pink macaron candle and then for group number two we have the lavender one and for group number three we have the yellow macaron candle so make sure to choose the one that you like the most that the one that you're most drawn to and after you chose um, you can scroll down into the description box because I have there all the uh, timestamps listed so you can just click on them and get right to your reading. So yeah, let's just get started. Hello everyone who chose group number one, those of you who chose this lovely pink macaron candle. I'm just going to place it here. So I'm just going to start um, shuffling the tarot cards. I'm going to just do a easy, simple spread um, for your love, for your relationship, um, for the person that you have in your mind. So for group number one, where is this relationship headed? Just any general advice um, about this current connection from people in group number one. With that person in mind. What's going on in this connection? Any general advice? Just the current relationship. What's going on in this relationship? For people in group number one. Okay, I'm just going to choose a few of them. This is one. This is um, two. Sorry, I'm just going to place it here. And I'm just going to pick another one for three. And then I'm just going to get four and five. Okay. Okay, let me I'll make sure that you can still see all the cards when I'm going to flip them. All right. So let's flip them and yeah, well, let's see what messages we have for you. So for the first um, position, we have the world. And then on the second one, we have the moon. Now we have on the third one, the emperor. On the fourth one, we have page of swords. And the last one, the Hierophant. Okay, so group number one. On the first position, which represents you, we have the card, the world. Okay, and this card speaks all about a natural chapter ending. Just, um, I mean, a chapter ending in a natural way, like it's, it's not serving you any good. It, it's done its job and it's good to go. Um, you don't know. You no longer need it, and you need to just start a new chapter. Um, you just got all the lessons from that specific person, situation, connection. Yeah. And on the second position, we have. The moon and this position um, it's represented by them by the person that you have in mind the person you have this connection with yeah and this card speaks all about inner um, like anxiety um, secrets anything that's hidden like um, like someone not being like this energy speaks about someone not being um, in the in 
their best mindset um it's like they're not they're not calm they're not um in harmony something is bothering them it's like inner trouble inner like little anxieties stuff that's hidden and and wants to come out to light you know it might be like negative emotions picking through to just come out of to light so your person might might go through these kind of emotions at the moment yeah your person is is not in the best mindset at the moment with this card yeah on the third position we have um, the relationship it's represented by like it represents the relationship itself so we have the emperor um, and this card speaks about um, a mature relationship something that's very committed something that's long term it's like a lot of commitment involved um, stability a lot of stability involved a lot of passion someone who has um like a lot of stability like mentally emotionally so it might be you okay, like this relationship it's it's a committed one yeah this connection is something serious something stable but maybe like it's run it's um i forgot the saying Basically, what I'm trying to say is that it's just, it taught you what you have to learn. And now it's time for you to move on with the world card. It's like, this was a chapter, a very important chapter in your life that taught you a lot of things, but it's time to move on. And maybe this is creating a lot of anxiety in your person's mind. Let's see further what we have. Um, on the fourth position, we have advice. Yeah. So the advice is page of swords. This talks about communication, creativity. Maybe, maybe a person needs to communicate um, their feelings, their, what's bothering them, what's, what's hidden, and what, maybe what they have maybe what they kept sorry hidden um from you yeah it, it's funny because on the on the five um position on the fifth position we have the hierophant which speaks about like again commitment um traditions um you know, like anything that has to do with traditions, with rituals. So it speaks about marriage, about um, like really stable stuff. Maybe what's going on is not like this relationship. It's it's run its course. Um, no, its course. It's, it's maybe that your relationship will move into a new chapter, like. It's the same, it's it's a relationship with the same person, but it's a diff, what I'm trying to say, it's a different relationship, but with the same person. Maybe there were hidden stuff in the past um, that you, your person like kept just for themselves and it's finally coming to light. And, and because of that, like because of this communication, you're going to be able to move past, um, through um, through those difficulties and 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 secrets you know and maybe this way you are going to be able to like you as a person <clears throat> manage to just evolve to just get into a new chapter and see things from a different perspective and be like a different person like you grew up in a in a better version of yourself and and this way you're just like okay um i'm going to 
give this relationship one more chance or I'm just going to work on this connection but um, I have my boundaries or I have like I have another way of thinking I'm not who I used to be so this is going to be how this connection um, will continue so communicating will help this situation that's going to lead to like full on commitment in the in the future because even in the present your relationship it's it's a committed one like your person definitely um wants something serious with you and and you as well i'm going to extract uh two oracle cards as well um this is from um rom romantic hold on romance angel oracle cards just going to get maybe one or two cards from this oracle deck as well to just get mo a little bit more information about the connection from group number one number one just general advice group number one Okay, we have religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. Okay, so maybe this new chapter has to do um, with religious factors. Yeah, maybe, maybe the two of you. Um, are like just from different re religions um and and maybe it was like hard for you to just like maybe get married religiously and i feel like maybe one of you like they religion plays a really important role either for you or for them yeah and because of this maybe it created like separation maybe it created like you know these anxieties that maybe the relationship is going to be over um you know and we also have new love a new person has stirred your romantic feelings okay maybe there's another person involved in this connection so I guess that your person, like, you know, like what's hidden in here, maybe they started having feelings for someone else and basically broke this commitment. But they also, like, never really wanted to give up on you because um, we have the emperor and they really wanted something committed. I feel like your relationship was um, very, like, based on, like, religion and traditions and like very traditional type of um connection and i feel like it's very hard for such a connection to deal with one of you being like having feelings for someone else it, you know like it's hard it's hard to understand the concept of like having a um an affair yeah because it was like the the full on um traditional relationship maybe marriage um you know and and this created a lot of pain and a lot of a lot of um disconnection between the two of you and that brought a lot of anxiety in your person. Maybe your person is like battling with themselves as well because they have this, maybe like um, their own faith and they and they want to stick to that, um, being that good person, being that um, committed and responsible person, and they want that committed relationship with you. And and they, but. It was hard for them because they maybe like developed feelings for someone different from someone for someone else 
And I feel because of all these situation, it just led to you to to just develop in a, to a different person and, and you feel like this chapter of how the relationship used to be ended. Maybe at the moment you feel like this connection ended and, and that this is a chapter that's closed for you. Maybe that's that's your energy at the moment. Maybe that's, this is how you're feeling. Maybe this is how you're thinking about this connection. And maybe in there like just in a lot of anxiety. And, and they keep all this anxiety just in themselves hidden. But here on the advice we have the page of swords which, which talks about communication and just like being able to come forward with, you know, just an offer, a communicating offer about dealing with these things and like trying to just explain and communicate everything. And I see that the outcome is the, the Hierophant, which speaks about commitment, speaks about just, um, balance. So... I feel like after you're going to go through this really hard moment in the in this connection, there there what I'm trying to say is there is light at the end of the tunnel. Yeah. Okay, group number one. This is this was your reading. I really hope you found um, you you resonated with this message and you found maybe even a little bit of help or maybe some messages here for you um and yeah if you did make sure to give this video a like and also subscribe to my channel for more readings in the future and until then take care i'll see you bye bye hi guys who chose group number two who chose this lovely lavender macaron candle this is going to be your reading so let's get started going to shuffle the cards and I'm going to do a very simple and easy love spread um, just for general um, advice and messages for your current relationship your current connection with the person that you have in your mind whoops yeah so let's shuffle this cards a little bit group number two your current Connection, relationship. Okay. Just going to choose a few cards. So for group number, not for group, for position number one. And then for position number two. And then for position number three. Oop. Four. And five okay so let's see I'm just going to make sure if you can see all of them okay so for the position number one is the hanged man this position represents you um, group number two we have six of cups and then we have ten of wands then we have two of swords and then queen of swords okay so the first position as I said is represented by you and we have the hangman this shows that you are currently in a resting um, moment in your life you're just taking this moment to just recharge and and try to see things from a different perspective you're know, trying to find other ways of seeing your current situation um, on number two we have um, six of cups which represents them the person you, that you have in mind and this speaks about someone who is just very loving like this is someone who comes or with a love um, offer it's not 
the most mature and committed one but is someone who has really good intentions it may also speak about like playfulness just like um not forgetting about how to be playful and flirty okay and on the third one we have just the general um, energy of the current like relationship um, it's represented by how currently the relationship is feeling and the ten of um, wands it speaks about just, just working really hard like carrying the weight on the shoulders so the relationship might feel quite heavy at the moment quite pressing yeah and on the fourth one we have two of swords the four the four uh, position is the advice and the advice is basically to sit quietly and um wait the options yeah there's someone who is like blindfolded you can't really see much maybe maybe this speaks about like getting inward and trying to get in touch with your intuition and be able to communicate um, your feelings better okay and on the fifth position is the likely outcome of this connection and we have Queen of Swords and Queen of Swords is someone who is um, very good at communicating um, their just feelings thoughts boundaries someone who who is not afraid to put boundaries yeah um someone who really knows what they want and they're not afraid to say it so let's make an idea about what is this connection currently going through yeah so i can see that the relationship is feeling heavy so because of that you might feel that you need to recharge you need to take a step back and and just pause and try to see this connection from different perspectives maybe your person is not as committed as you would want um, maybe your person is very sweet very lovely have has the best intention but maybe um, doesn't really um, you know like um, just give you what you want from a connection yeah so maybe you need to reconsider um, the options that you have yeah you need to you're doing the right thing because the advice here is to go inwards and and try to find the answers because only you can make this decision um if you if you want to keep staying in this connection or leave yeah so the advice is to um to stay to stay to take a step back and 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 weigh the options try to get um the right answers and the right answers will come to you if you just take this moment to to um try to understand your own feelings and your own boundaries what you really want and i feel like you're going to reach that um that moment when you're really go going to know what you want because we have the queen of swords yeah so the outcome is someone who, who knows what they want so maybe you're going to decide that you want to keep going with this connection but you're definitely going to be able to um just speak your mind to be able to say exactly what you really want from this connection and um what you want things to um happen like how you want things to develop to happen in the future and if your person doesn't share the same values or like the same mindset as you you you're not going to be scared to uh, cut this person from your life because the queen of swords is someone who is um just not afraid to cut any situation of person that doesn't serve them anymore yeah so you're going to to step into your own power after this um period of time where you're just recharging and and 
finding your answers on trying to see things from different perspectives and try to find um, a reason why this relationship feels so like such a weight on your shoulders because I can see your person is quite carefree yeah you probably don't even like notice there's a problem or there's something that like misconnection between the two of you yeah I'm going to get um, maybe one or two cards from this um, deck is the romance um, angel oracle card so what's going on with this connection from people from group number two just general advice with their current relationship current connection yeah let's see Okay, these two are sticking out so I'm just going to go with these two let's see what we have here very soon clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now well it's almost the same as same thing as I said before yeah clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you in order to manifest things you need to be clear about what you really want so you're doing the right thing by taking a step back and trying to understand what you really want so then you're going to be able to to speak your mind to to communicate what you really want and if your person doesn't um it's it's not able to provide um what you really need in order to feel fulfilled in a connection they, you're not going to be afraid to to you know um, step aside or if your person will will just be you know willing to um, to accept those boundaries you know and and maybe commit more to this connection or you know whatever it is that you want from from this connection and you're not currently getting if your person will want that then uh, we want to put in the work um then yeah you you will definitely um maybe be going with this connection since you will just know what you want um let's see the other one worth waiting for divine timing is at work in your love life worth waiting for so i guess it's worth um waiting for Maybe your person to realize it's worth waiting for you to know what you want and then speak your mind and your person then is going to um, decide or like you're going to see how they will react. So if it, whether they decide to, as I said, um, you know, go with your boundaries or not. So. It is definitely worth waiting for your person to make up their mind to you since you're taking your time. It's only fair to let your person know what's going on and your person will um, most likely choose to work on this relationship since I see um, them being quite loving to you and also they... This, I see them coming with an offer of love so there's divine timing at work in your love life at the moment maybe these difficulties are just like a lesson to be learned in this connection maybe a lesson that will help you um, go inwards and understand yourself better and like understand what you really want better and 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 be able to communicate better with your person what you really want and this way your person will will have more clear what your needs are and maybe it's going to be easier for them to meet your needs so yeah this was your reading group number two i really hope you enjoyed it if you did make sure to give a like and also subscribe to my channel for more readings in the future and i'll see you in my next one take care bye bye hi guys who chose group number three the ones of you who chose this lovely yellow macaron candle today's reading is going to be a very simple um, and easy love spread 
I'm just going to shuffle the tarot cards and I'm going to um, lay down the, the spread. So, what is the current situation in group number three connection with the person that they have in mind? Group number three, general advice for their current relationship, their current connection. Just general advice. Okay. Okay, I'm just going to use this card as number one since it's the first one that pulled out and I'm just going to choose a few of them. So this is going to be two. This is going to be three. Four. And five. Okay. So... Yeah, I'm just going to make sure you see all of them and I'm going to flip them over. So, the first one, we have Eight of Wands. The second position, we have Ace of Wands. And the third one, we have Nine of Pentacles. Then we have the High Priestess. And then we have Four of Swords. Okay. So, on the first position, um, the first position is represented by you. It's your energy, it's your current energy, and it's Eight of Wands. Eight of Wands speaks about energies moving fast, a lot of communication, a lot of like a distant, long distance communication, a lot of um, things happening at once. Um, maybe you're feeling not, this is not about feeling overwhelmed, this is about like good things moving fast, about um, you know, taking advantage of the things moving fast. So you may be really busy, like projects and work and like just having a lot going on in your life, but you're feeling like you're taking, you know, the opportunity. And on the second position, we have Ace of Wands and this is represented by them. Th this is the current energy of your person. Um, and Ace of Wands speaks a new beginning of a fresh um start a fresh opportunity a lot of passion yeah let's see on um, the third one it's the current um um connection the current sorry energy uh, for the connection for the relationship so it's uh, nine of pentacles this speaks about just being content with um what you have achieved so i feel like um, the two of you are quite happy together and the relationship is very stable not like financially for sure um, there's a lot of coins in here and and you two are just like really carefree just enjoying what you've achieved um, enjoying um, and, and just like re like giving yourself um, the opportunity to enjoy all the rewards that all your hard work has brought to you so overall, I feel like your your connection is in a really good place at the moment. Yeah. Um. Your person might just like be starting a new project, something that they are very passionate about. You're just dealing with a lot of things on your own, but all this hard work is paying off, and you two are just working hard, but also enjoying um, the rewards of this hard work okay um on the fifth position oh sorry fourth position we have the advice the general advice for this connection and is the the high priestess and the high priestess speaks about just um it's someone like very in tune with their intuition someone very intuitive someone very um, um very in tune with their feelings and and also like very uh, mindful yeah so maybe there's a lot of things going on in your life so maybe the advice is to just like take a step on um, back and go inwards and just try to get in touch with that inner self yeah the high priestess is someone who has mastered that on um, like inner like 
um, calm, inner um, balance. So maybe you need a little bit of a break from this hectic um, lifestyle and it's going to bring maybe a, a little bit more peace um, for you. But overall you're doing great, it's just um, an advice that to not forget about, um, you know, to nourish your soul. Yeah. And the likely outcome of this connection is Four of Swords, and Four of Swords speaks about just taking a break. So basically, I feel like you're going to um, listen to, to the advice, and you're going to take a break, you're going to get into recharge mode, and maybe this is going to be an opportunity for you to reconnect a little bit more with each other, yeah? I feel like this reading is the definitely the most positive ones from today. Um, there's there's not m a lot more to say about it because you two are doing great. Just going to get um one or two cards for from this oracle deck is the romance angel oracle deck. Just general advice for the current connection in group number three their relationship with the person they have in mind okay i'm just going to grab this one oops sorry so we have here chemistry there's a strong man magnetic attraction here definitely with so many wands wands are all about passion so i see <laughs> even on your position and your person's position there's two uh, cards that are wand wands cards so there's a lot of attraction between the two of you as i said you two are like doing quite good um at the moment and we have healing families uh issues your love life benefits as you forgive your parents okay so getting more and getting more information about the energies here so um the the um, the advice here with the high priestess might be about because again as i said it's about going inwards about doing the healing the inner work so this has to do maybe with either you or your person having to heal um stuff from the past yeah maybe there's something um some scars um from the past and maybe with this like hectic life you're just trying to like by being super busy you're trying to uh, just ignore those um those wounds those things that need to be healed but the, the 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 advice here is to don't just brush off those things just go inwards do the inner healing do the inner work um and the outcome of this is definitely a break um a break from maybe this um this just like ongoing projects ongoing act things going on in here so th this will definitely benefit um, not only the person that has to go through this break but also the connection overall because um, you know um, healing stuff from the past it's letting um, clear energy fresh energy coming um, in so yeah I really 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 loved your reading I really hope you enjoyed it too if you did make sure to give a like to this video and also subscribe to my channel for more readings in the future and yeah, until then, take care. I'll see you. Bye-bye.